Welcome to this introductory video on free body diagram. For more information on free body diagram, you may like to consider this textbook, Essential Engineering Statics, Strategies for Problem Solving, second edition, available at amazon.com. Also, you may like to download this software from this site, aftersprudentia.com. And this software will help you in problem solving. So, what is a free body diagram? A free body diagram is a sketch of a body that is isolated from its surroundings. The sketch shows the effect of the surroundings on the body as forces and couples. Let's look at the free body diagram of an entire bicycle. So N1 and N2 are forces applied on the bicycle from the road surface. R2 is the weight that the rider puts on the handlebar. R1 is the force from the rider who is sitting on this seat. The weight of the bicycle is W and the rider puts forces R3 and R4 on the pedals of the bicycle. For an equilibrium, the sum of upward forces N1 and N2 must balance all these downward forces, R1 plus R2 plus W plus R3 plus R4. So this is the free body diagram for the entire bicycle. If we want, we can look at the free body diagram of individual parts. So first, what we do is we remove this pin here that attaches the sprocket with the body of the bicycle. Also, we cut the chain at two locations, here and here, and T1 and T2 are the tensions in the chain. And R3 and R4, as before, are the forces from the rider on the pedals. And just because you remove this pin, you have to include the pin's effect. And the pin's effect are marked here as Px and Py. There is no couple at the pin because the sprocket is free to turn around this, around this pin. Next, we get into a little more detail. That is, we isolate the pedal by removing the pin that attaches the pedal to the sprocket. Force from the pin on the pedal is Qx and Qy. And just because the pedal is not free to turn, it's attached to the sprocket. We also have a couple which is coming from the sprocket. We have isolated only one pedal and R3 is the force applied by the rider on this pedal. Now what we do is we isolate a piece of the pedal. That is, we take a saw, imaginary saw, and make an imaginary cut across here and isolate the top portion of the pedal. Just because the top portion of the pedal is rigidly attached to the bottom portion of the pedal, we get two forces, A 
which is along the pedal, V, a force that is perpendicular to the pedal, and a couple M. So moment at the cut, this M is called the bending moment M. Thank you for listening.